Alvin Kamara starts the 2020 season as one of the main running backs in the NFL. For the 2018 campaign, the standout of the New Orleans Saints, Derek Carr, plans to establish a strong connection with the quarterback. However, the National Football League NFL, communicated earlier this month that Kamara will face a suspension during the 2023 regular season due to his involvement in a fight that occurred in Las Vegas in February 2022, which resulted in injuries to a person. What is the suspension period for Alvin Kamara? Kamara will be suspended for the first three games of the 2023 season due to a violation of the league's established personal conduct guidelines. This implies that he won't be present in the matchups against the Tennessee Titans in the first week, the Carolina Panthers in the second week, or the Green Bay Packers in the third week. However, he will be eligible to participate in the showdown against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the fourth week. The New Orleans team maintains hope that their star athlete can start the 2023 season positively despite being absent in the initial games. Kamara gained 897 yards and scored two touchdowns through 223 rushes during the last season, over 15 games for the Saints. Additionally, he accumulated 490 yards and scored two touchdowns through 57 receptions. The Saints coaching staff is working on strategies to mitigate Kamara's absence on the field during the suspension period. Coach Sean Payton expressed confidence in the depth of the roster, emphasizing the relevance of other players taking responsibility, and filling the void left by Kamara in the early games. With Kamara absent, the reserve running backs, Latavius Murray and Tony Jones Jr., are expected to play more prominent roles in the offensive system. Both players have shown potential in previous seasons, and this suspension provides them the opportunity to showcase their skills and contribute to the team's success. Quarterback Derek Carr, the expected offensive partner of Kamara in the Saints, acknowledges the setback but maintains faith in the team's ability to adapt even without a key player. Carr highlights the importance of maintaining offensive cohesion. The suspension also raises concerns about the overall impact on the Saints' initial performance. Kamara's versatility, as both a runner and receiver has proven to be an asset in the team's offensive scheme. As a result, the coaching staff is likely to adjust play calls and formations to make the most of the available players' abilities. While the Saints face their first games without Kamara, the team's performance will be subject to analysis by fans and experts. The outcome of these inaugural games could have a significant impact on the overall trajectory of the Saints' season and their aspirations for the playoffs. All eyes will be on the players, who will replace Kamara, and how the team will adjust to the adversities brought by his suspension. That concludes today's video. Did you enjoy the content? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos about the Saints.